to uh, move in this general direction. Uh, we're seeing a visible eye on it now, so it's going to be easier to track it. That also means it's probably slowly intensifying. So uh, there's still some uncertainty as to the exactly where the track is going to end up. Could be a little closer to Guam, could be a little closer to Saipan. Right now it's fairly close to uh, Rota, and, uh, and it could shift anywhere 30 or 40 miles either side of that track. Uh, it's going to be near 100 miles an hour near the center, depending on where, you know, uh, we don't know where the center is exactly going to be, but the, the wind speed is going to be around 100 uh, miles per hour, and the gusts are going to be around 115, 120 miles per hour. So uh, uh, that's, that could do a lot of damage. Here on Guam, we're not expecting quite that kind of winds. Uh, maybe minimal typhoon force winds. Uh, we're going to get a lot of rain out of this. There's going to be a lot of flooding. Uh, there's a chance of flash flooding, especially down near the southern mountains, near rivers. Uh, if you see water coming across the road, turn around. Don't drown. Okay? If thunder roars, get indoors. Okay? These are, these are little mottos we have, and uh, they pay off. So uh, uh, we are going to see a lot of rain uh, out of the system. Even after the system passes, the monsoon's probably going to come in and it's probably going to rain for another day or two. So uh, the other thing I want to ask people to do is when the, when the waves start picking up and as the storm approaches, the water's going to get rough, rougher and rougher, and we're going to see high surf. We don't want people to drown. So please get out of the water once it... Yeah, people should know their capabilities, and uh, once the water starts, once especially we put out a high surf advisory, or uh, or the typhoon gets close, and you can see water breaking uh, across the reef, uh, very high, get out of the water. So we don't want any drownings around here. Uh, there'll be plenty of time to get back in the water. So uh, I can't think of anything else to say except. Uh, We'll be putting out a lot of information. It's very important that you get the latest information, okay? So uh, we're going to be updating this uh, track of the storm and the intensity uh, every three hours. And we'll be, once it gets within radar range, closer, maybe within a couple hundred miles, we'll be putting out information every hour or two. So uh, uh, there'll be plenty of information coming out of the storm. and uh, But what you got to do is listen to the radio and listen to the instructions of... Uh, Homeland Security and Guam Civil Defense.